Hi friends, in the last video we learn up to the derivation of the kinetic energy equal half mv square, the potential energy equal mgh for a body of mass m and moving with velocity u in case of the kinetic energy and in case of the potential energy the body is raised to a height h ok. Now we are going to learn another one important relation very important relation to solve the numerical problem that is the linear momentum and the kinetic energy. If a body of mass m moving with velocity v then the linear momentum of the body that is denoted by small p this is equal mass into small v that is the v is the velocity let us consider the body is moving with a mass m with the velocity small v on a plane a b here linear momentum p equal m into v that can be described properly by using the mass and the velocity of the body this is the dynamical property that we learned in the previous one class previous one video another relation that is the kinetic energy capital e this is equal half m v square there will be standard relation just let us see here the kinetic energy capital E this is equal half if we write this m square v square that means divided by m this is equal m v this is square divided by 2 m. So, the result will be the m v square this is equal 2 m e that means the linear momentum square equal 2 m e 2 m e or p equal linear momentum equal root over 2 m e this is the relation standard relation between the linear momentum and the kinetic energy of a body by using this relation we can solve another two problems very interesting problem and frequently asked in class 11 board exam frequently asked in class 11 and also it is found in the different numericals that are uh, already found in your question paper in joint entrance examination also. That is if the two bodies of mass the for heavier body for heavier body the mass will be the capital M for lighter body for lighter body the mass let this is be small m. The two bodies of mass capital M and small m one heavier one lighter have equal linear momentum have equal linear momentum which one will have the greater kinetic energy this is the question this is the question the two bodies one lighter and one heavier has a equal linear momentum but which one will have the greater kinetic energy so according to this problem capital m is the mass of the heavier body with lighter body corresponding small m the linear momentum of the two bodies are same linear momentum for the heavier body let this is be p1 p1 for heavier this is equal m capital v and for the lighter body this is p2 p2 this is equal small m small v for capital v is the velocity for the heavier body small v is the velocity for the lighter body but what will be the kinetic energy of it there will be a standard relation we already learned p equal that is p equal that is this p1 this is equal the root over 2 m a root over root over 2 capital m e1 e1 is the kinetic energy of the heavier body similarly this p2 can be written as this is equal root over 2 small m e2 here e2 is the kinetic energy for the lighter body but the given question is given condition p1 equal p2 both the linear momentum of the two bodies are same that is why we can write root of r 2 capital M E1 this is equal root of r 2 small m E2 because they are same. So, this is equal by squaring both sides 2 capital M E1 this is equal 2 small m E2 2 small m E2 let us see E1 by E2 e1 by e2 what happened e1 by e2 this is equal small m by small m that is e2 2m e2 e2 is here small m by capital m small m by capital m 
the ratio less than 1 since this is because since small m small m less than capital m the mass of the lighter body small m less than capital m therefore we can write the e1 by e2 less than 1 the result shows that or the kinetic energy of the heavier body will be less than the kinetic energy of the lighter body that means the lighter body kinetic energy will be greater than the kinetic energy of the heavier body similarly just opposite of it what happened for the two bodies one heavier another one lighter if the kinetic energies are same what will be their linear momentum frequently asked question if the two bodies have the same kinetic energy one lighter another one heavier which one will have the greater linear momentum let us see here by using this relation for the lighter body for heavier body for heavier body the mass will be capital M for lighter body for lighter body the mass will be small m so according to the problem the kinetic energy are same e1 this is equal e2 we have to find out the relation between the linear momentum p1 the corresponding linear momentum let this is be p1 for the heavier body and the corresponding linear momentum of the lighter body let this is be p2 p2 for the lighter body but we use the relation p is equal to root over 2m e p equal root over 2m e so here we can write p1 equal root over 2 capital m e1 and also the p2 equal root over 2 small m e2 where the p1 is the linear momentum of the heavier body p2 is the linear momentum of the lighter body and then we can write e1 equal p1 square by p1 square by 2 capital m and similarly for this p2 for this p2 we can write here that is e2 equal p2 square by 2 small m but e1 equal e2 therefore we can write p1 square by 2 capital m this is equal p2 square by 2 small m so 2 to cancel from both side therefore p1 square by p2 square this is equal p2 square this is equal m capital m by small m or p1 by p2 this is equal root over capital m by small m but this is greater than 1 this is greater than 1 since since capital m greater than small m therefore we can write p1 greater than p2 p1 greater than p2 the linear momentum of the heavier body will be greater than the linear momentum of the lighter body that means just reverse result is found here in the next video we again learn another one important uh, question that is the in case of the free fall body the total mechanical energy remains conserved total mechanical energy remains conserved okay today up to this